Hello. So, number one, welcome to my channel, Woes. Just want to post this brief video. The reason why you haven't seen any content on this channel for, I don't know, three or four days. This past week around now, I'm not going to give the exact date, was when uh, someone very close to me passed away. And I don't say this. I don't want, I'm not looking for like, woe, you know, woe was me. Get it? Woe's, woes is me. Or anyone to feel bad or any of that kind of stuff. It's a, when you celebrate a life, it could be sad, sure. Or you could just celebrate the, the person's life like they had a great life. Um, you could value them. Everyone has a different way of remembering people. For me, uh, it's five years ago. I can't believe the time has flown so fast, but the reason why I got back into gaming really was because I was taking care of a loved one who was a great person in my life, always had my back, and, uh, she got sick, uh, became blind, needed full-time care, and it was, I had a choice to make, either put her in a home or take care of her. I decided to take care of her and pretty much put my life on, on hold. And I would do it again if I had to. Very strenuous, stressful situation where... And I share a lot of this too so other people... Other people could relate to or wonder probably if there's other people that feel the same out there. So basically, uh, the person in question had to take glaucoma pills. Or not glaucoma, glaucoma drops for almost 20 years of her life. And on top of that, she had monocular degeneration which is something that makes your eye basically slowly deteriorate to the point where um, there's a little gel that holds your nerve to the back of your pupil and it breaks up and then you start being able to only see shadows and and it's, it's like a slow, sometimes it can be quick, but most of the time it's very slow and you just slowly lose your sight. And some people are able to get on with it, depending on what their age, you know, are. And some people, like, you know, take the time to learn how to adapt. And this person kind of struggled with adapting. And on top of that, the glaucoma medicine, uh, we found out in later years, actually would promote hair growth and they used a, a, a ingredient in the glaucoma medicine to uh, to get people put on people's heads to grow their hair back and for a long time we didn't know why this was happening but uh, I'm, the person was my mother and um, we found out with her that one day one of the doctors actually looked for some reason underneath her eyelid. She was about to ready to leave, and she goes, "He goes, come on, I want to take another look." And he looked under her eyelid, and he, she had all these eyelashes growing underneath her eyelid. And so every time she'd blink, basically it was like having swords wipe across her cornea and pupil. And that, on top of everything else, was scratching the lens. So, so now she's got, you know, basically three things going on. So anyway, I took care of her. I had to take her to like the doctor like every 10 to 14 days and have these um, eyelashes removed from underneath the eye. It was just a brutal process. And we did this for almost eight years. And a couple times I'd try to go do things and whatever she fall or you know whatever but you know the thing is 
not a lot of people could say or maybe even would want to spend as much time as I did with their mother or father or relative. But when it all comes down to it, I look back on it as very, very lucky. You know, did it interrupt my life? Yes. But I was very, very lucky to have so much great time to spend with a person that was incredibly thoughtful, patient, kind, considerate. And during that time, it changed my life drastically because, you know, sure you learn like when your parents bring you up good from right from wrong, good for bad, you know, things like that. But to spend that much time is extraordinary. And to have the realization of that person being more, probably more than what you would imagine. Of course, you love your you love your mother, but then you find out other things about how smart they are or aren't or how good they are skilled at one thing, maybe not skilled at another. Um, in my case... Uh, I found out how well read my mother was and how smart she was. You know, I already knew she was a pretty thoughtful person. Goes out, went out of her way for others. Stood up for people. She told me a story how um, one of her friends at school, she grew up, my mother grew up in a um, a project. She had a broken family. Her, her mother had passed on from tuberculosis. And uh, she had this uh, friend that she became friends with. And she'd walk this girl home every day from work, uh, from school, when she found out that kids were abusing her. And... she got roughed up a couple times because of it and just because the person was a different race than her it was a younger girl and she she took it upon herself that she was going to make sure that girl got home safe without trouble and without having her things stolen or being abused verbally and things like that and she stood up for the girl and I found out like That's probably why I have that in myself. Like I go out of my way for people and I don't care. Like I'll go stand on a ledge if I think something's right and I know right from wrong and I trust myself. Uh, I don't care if I like the person involved. I'm going to or, or even if it's not, I don't even have to like the person. If I know right from wrong, I'm going to stand up and say, no, people, you're wrong. And I learned that from her. I knew it as a younger age, but I know it even more so now after I know how she stood up for people and risked her own safety by risking her neck for others. And then I found out also part of her vision problem was she got banged around a lot as a kid. Which made me want to go back in time and take care of that, you know. So, going off on a tangent here, but the reason why uh, for like a week or so I haven't put any content up because I've just been kind of muddling through that. And I'll be getting back to my content again soon. Just, I wanted to do things in an upbeat. And also, if... I've left any discords or whatever, you know, I'm the type of person to be exactly what I explained that I learned from my mother and how to be, it's just funny how it comes up at the same time. And people will call out, like say, if you are standing up for other people or what you think's right, no matter how minute it might be, I think at times people that, do things and then do things in an arrogant manner need to be called out. Or if they invite you something and they're doing it wrong, 
you give them an opportunity to learn why they're doing it wrong. You don't have to be nasty about telling them why they're doing it wrong. Or if, say, if you excel at something more than someone else or have the experience as someone else and you try to tell them over and over, this is the way you should consider doing it, and then you're part of something that becomes... Uh, something that you don't really want to leave and you've been you feel like you've just been as much part of it as anyone else that you that you're not going to leave and you should be able to give your opinion and i i don't like uh being that both my parents were depression era parents and my father fought in world war 2 and i had 10 uncles including great uncles fighting World War II against people that are oppressed and people that want to uh, control others. I don't, I don't go for that in my life. I'm not one to put up with that. I'm going to say what I have to say in a mature way. And if people don't like that, that's their problem, not mine. That's the way I look at things in life. And I generally don't talk about things that I haven't educated myself about. I make sure that I know what I'm talking about before I talk about it. I also make sure that I have the facts as well. So with this channel, I've really, really enjoyed it very much because it's forced me to relearn a lot of things that I already knew a long time ago. I, I ran big leagues. Uh, large leagues, NASCAR 2003, I racing. I had a, I had a, I won't say a Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 company sponsor me for my i racing league. It was very professional and had like people that were corporate, uh, corporate chairman and Fortune 500 companies involved. So, I like things done a certain way, and I try. And if I'm involved with something, I, first I try to, you know, give an opinion on it. And if people don't take the opinion, then I'll just continue to give that opinion until I see things that I feel that they're done right. And a lot of people will take offense to that and feel that I'm targeting them. Well. If people make the same mistakes continually over and over and over, then yes. And why why should I leave something that I really love? Like, for instance, when my mother... Uh, people would criticize me about not living my life while I was taking care of her. And I loved her I, and I look back on it I loved taking care of her. I didn't like the illness involved and like that you know she developed stomach cancer that was brutal but there's no way as me loving her that I would just give up on her in any shape or form some people can't deal with that some people I I mean I didn't like dealing with it but I did everyone everyone's different and I don't throw stones at people that don't care, take care of their relatives, they put them in the home or whatever. That's their, you know, prerogative. My prerogative is was to get involved and do what I needed to do to to take care of. And there would be people that would criticize me for doing such that I wasn't living my my life and the life that I had have been given that was precious time. Well yes it's precious time, but I also learned a lot of precious things during the time that I, I, it was a learning experience, very tough time, but a learning experience. And I think that, uh, there's a plan, there's choices put in front of us in life that we choose or not choose. And at the end of each life, uh, I've talked to a lot of people about, you know, the end of life and older people, how they feel, kind of, I've, when I was a kid, I volunteered in convalescent homes, and I always asked some questions. And I was, 
or I'd observe like what they talked about. And they always, always, one thing people always talked about was their parents, their siblings, mostly. Mostly their parents, they're growing up, and their single siblings. And so for me, I think it's very important to take care of your loved ones. Very, very important. If you're ever dis in question of that, think of what I just said. Because when your judgment day comes, you might not be thinking about it right now. But generally, when people come to their judgment day, they start thinking about stuff like that a lot. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Don't try not to leave a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas in your life. That's my advice for people. Do your best. Say what you have to say. Do it as professionally as you can. But don't regret on not saying things because you're going to offend others. That's their problem, not yours. So if you're wondering why there's not going to be any content or hasn't been any content on this channel for a week, that's why I'm taking a little break. A little sabbatical of time that I need to um, with this, you know, looking back on things. I like to kind of take the time and just chill out and remember my time with my mother and uh, say thanks for the blessings that I have received in my life. And after that, we'll be back to racing. Probably about a, maybe another week. We'll talk to you again soon, guys. Till then, enjoy your life. Enjoy the people around you. And at the same time, don't take any shit from anyone because life's too short.